one of the most difficult a aspects of working with MARC records, uh, particularly recently with some of the um, records that are being provided um, that include uh, an enormous amount of 856 fields that uh, reference multiple ways of being able to access a, a copy, um, whereas your library may only use one of the maybe six or seven items of, of, that uh, show up, is um, the ability to delete a field within the records, delete a group of fields within a MARC record uh, that doesn't match a particular element. Uh, used to be in Mark Edit that you would have to use a very complicated regular expression to be able to identify the field to match and to not be deleted. But um, in the probably a couple months ago, I went ahead and added a function to simplify that process. And I'm going to show you how that works now. If we open the Mark Editor, and I'm going to go ahead and load a file. And so I have a simple file here. Right now it only has one 856, so let's go ahead and add a few. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some 856s that are going to be sample 856s. Um, and these are obviously ones that uh, would not be um, valid for this per these particular records, but we're just going to globally start adding some fields here. Just as a demonstration, we're going to give them all different URLs. And add one more here. Okay, so we've added multiple 856s. So we have 856 here, 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 and here. Now what I want to do is I want to keep the one that has this resolver here. And so that's the one I'm going to go ahead and pick. Because this one's my proxy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy um, the proxy part. Okay? I want to delete all of the other 856s. As I said, prior to adding this function, you used to have to do a regular expression. Now if you go to the add delete function field, type in 856, the field data you want to search on, this is the data you want to match on, and then we click on remove if field does not match. So any 856 that doesn't match, this field data will be deleted. We go ahead and tell it to delete the field, and take a look, and we'll see that the 856 fields, the ones that were kept, are the ones that we have the uh, the uh, um, proxy data that we want to keep. So all other 856 have been removed. Simple way to be able to remove large groups of um, MARC record data um, that contain information that maybe you don't want to keep um, and be able to retain the individual fields or fields that um, have information that you'd like to retain.